First at 5.30, we continue to track the latest on a story we first brought you last night. Starting tomorrow, Americans will be able to download the blueprints to manufacture 3D printed guns. This comes after a lengthy legal battle between the U.S. State Department and a Texas champion of gun rights. Now, last night we heard concerns from Rhode Island State Police and tonight we're hearing from a local man who actually owns a 3D printer. He says he isn't convinced it will work as planned. Iowa News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now live in studio with his story, new at 5.30. Oh, Mike Caroline, despite the release tomorrow, this is still a fluid situation. Legislation and lawsuits have been filed. The president tweeting this morning that he's looking into it and it doesn't make much sense. But I wanted to learn more about 3D printing today, so I sat down with a Rhode Islander to see how it works. Democrats in Congress sounding the alarm. It's the ultimate gun loophole. A free online guide will be posted Wednesday that allows someone to build a gun at home with a 3D printer. No serial code, no background checks, and hard to detect because it's mostly plastic. Design, so. Tuesday afternoon, uh, I spoke with Rhode Islander Evan Malmud. He's been using a 3D printer in his home for several years. Anything you can design on the 3D program, you can print. He showed me how it works. This is called the artichoke lamp. Malmud downloads a plan online, sends it to the printer, and then 30 hours later, it's done. It does take some time to really uh, put it together and learn what you're doing. But he questions how well it could actually print a gun. I'd be surprised if you could do any damage with a 3D printed item. I, I think it would explode in your hand. A video posted by the ATF shows that possibility. After a five-year lawsuit was settled, the State Department is allowing Cody Wilson and his pro-gun group Defense Distributed to post his blueprint online. We said no, we're Americans. Americans have the right to access this data unquestionably. Rhode Island Congressman David Cicilline filing legislation in D.C. to make it illegal. And at the State House in Providence, State Senator Coyne plans to do the same. Now, also, several states, including Connecticut and Massachusetts, have filed a joint lawsuit in federal court seeking a restraining order on the release tomorrow. We reached out to the Rhode Island Attorney General. In a statement, he said it's a matter of great public safety, and they are looking into how it, to properly join that lawsuit. We've also reached out to the Rhode Island Second Amendment group over the last two days, but have not gotten a response. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.